Literally, when I worked at Sephora, the only women who came in to buy this fragrance were women who were like 50 years older than me. And then there was me wearing it. Hi loves! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a light beat because we're not talking about makeup, we're not talking about brows or blushes. We're talking about how to smell fantastic. If you are new here, my name is Carrie and I make girly glam and slightly ratchet content here online. And so when it comes to beauty, one thing I really love to do is collect the most perfect girly glam and ratchet fragrances. <laughs> and I asked you guys on my socials if you wanted to see a fragrance collection because I've kind of low-key collected a good amount of fragrances. So I just thought it would be fun to share. I've done a couple of fragrance reviews on this channel that I can link in case you want to see more in-depth reviews on certain perfumes I'll be showing you today. I'm not going to be sitting down while I'm showing. I'm actually going to do a kind of like vlog style collection tour. But I'll also be categorizing each fragrance based off of the season I think that they best fit and the type of environment in which you would wear it. I categorize them into three main groups, one being a shabby chic type of fragrance. So these are the type of fragrances you would normally wear if you're going to a tea party or you're going antique shopping or doing like something soft and girly during the daytime, going to a bookstore or something like that. And then in terms of my second category, it's more on the girly glam girl boss type of category. These are kind of like your girl night out fragrances, the fragrances you'd wear on a date night. Fragrances that are a little bit stronger, still giving girly glam, but also giving I am here to slide the house down. And then category number three is my favorite perfumes and the ones that I think everyone should own if you are in the girly glam hyper femme niche. And so I'm labeling them the ultimate princess perfumes. So if you want to see my fragrance collection, then just keep on watching. But first, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you also turn on that post notification bell too, so you never miss when I upload a new video. And feel free to follow me on socials at Glamanisha08, pretty much everywhere. That way you can stay tuned and see all the other behind the scene, girly glam and slightly ratchet parts of my life. But other than that, me and my little baby hairs that don't want to stay down are gonna get into it. So let's jump right into this collection video. Okay, so minor disclaimer before we get into this vlog style collection. I just want to note that with any of these fragrances, there are certain ones that you can layer well together. So when I'm categorizing these fragrances, I also want you to keep in mind that if a fragrance that I categorize like in Shabby Chic Spring is categorized that way, it can most likely layer with the other fragrances in that category. You can break the rules, of course, and you can also layer fragrances that have similar base notes in them. So if you're thinking about layering things, definitely make sure to look up the notes so that you can make sure it smells good before you even test it on your skin. Because if you put fragrances together that don't smell good, it's not a good, it's not a good vibe. But also, my advice to helping any of these fragrances last longer is to make sure that you layer what you put on your skin. So I usually put these fragrances on right after the shower when I'm getting ready. And if I am showering in the morning and getting ready that way, I usually like to put these on with wet skin, put on a layer of lotion, and then put on some more. Never rub. I know some people out here really like to rub their wrists together because they think it looks fancy. You're not supposed to do that. Okay, and you can fight me on this, but I was trained when I worked at Sephora. You are not supposed to be doing that. Instead, just spritz the fragrances in the areas in which you have a pulse that tends to carry the most heat in order to get that fragrance to last. As soon as you start rubbing, you start to rub away that longevity of your scent. And finally, don't forget, you can also spray your clothes, but if you do this, make sure you spray it with a fragrance that you wear often. Now let's get into the fragrances I love to wear. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna start here with the one, the only beautiful mess this looks brand new, and that's because it technically kind of is. I bought this last winter as a way for me to finally say, okay, I have to try this scent because apparently it's perfect for the winter time. And I actually low-key hated this <laughs> the first time I smelled it. It is a sweet smelling macaron based scent, but I think what threw me off is that it has pistachio as one of its main scents. And it wasn't something that I've ever really tried before, but recently it's grown on me. So I do really like this and I'm looking forward to trying to actually wear it this winter season. So I would categorize this as the perfect scent to wear in the winter time. And this is like shabby chic tea time sweets girls day out ready type of fragrance. Okay, so up here I have, this is a Louis Vuitton um, EDP. I think this is called Ombre Nomad. 
Yes. Um, and this was gifted to me in Paris from Sam's sister. This definitely has more of a masculine scent to it. I think one of its main scents is raspberry, but it also has incense. So I would say this is perfect if you're looking for a nice fragrance for the fall time and something that's going to give you that girl bossy strength. Next, we have Angel Elixir. I honestly love this bottle. I think cool perfume bottles are so cool. Um, and this isn't really giving girly glam, but it's giving alien superstar. This is a warm and spicy type of fragrance, um, and it has, I think, pink pepper is what makes it spicy, but it also has sandalwood, which is one of my favorite ingredients. I kind of consider this to be more of like a summer to fall fragrance, but I feel like traditionally people would probably wear this more in the fall time. And this is also giving girl boss, let's go out, let's have a ball type of fragrance. Now we gotta talk about our Ari fragrances. You see them back here. Now Ariana loves her floral slash sweet scents. So these are all pretty similar, but they all have their own unique spin. So if we're starting with the original Ari fragrance, I absolutely love this scent so much. This is a gourmand type of scent. It is floral and it has, I think, pear in it. This alone, the packaging is super cute and delicious but I think this is perfect because even though you get a nice scent out of this, it's never too overwhelming. I think it's giving Scream Queen, so I'm going to categorize this as fall, and I'm actually going to put this in the princess category as like an ultimate curly glam fragrance. I think you guys have to try. Now back here, we have Cloud. I'm short, so I have to take this apart separately so I don't drop things. But here is our beautiful cloud fragrance. I'm actually really obsessed with this scent as well. Just like the Ari, it is a gourmand scent, but instead of this being floral, it's more warm and spicy. It has pear in it again, but then it also does have bergamot, which is one of my favorite, and lavender, so I think that's why I love this so much. Also, the little holder packaging I think is so cute. Um, so this is definitely like low-key a year-round fragrance. I could see myself wearing this in all seasons, but especially the summertime. And I would also honestly put this in ultimate princess perfumes to get because it smells so lovely. Okay, I already moved this one so you guys don't have to worry about me moving it. Hopefully my camera will cooperate in focusing. Um, but this is Ariana Grande's Rem perfume, also has that same little base that's separate from the bottle. This is also one of my favorite fragrances and it falls in my fall category and ultimate princess fragrance as well that everyone needs to try. I have to smell this but this has salted caramel and marshmallow. Those are two of their top notes. This is a like warm and spicy fragrance I believe but it still kind of has floral so actually I think this is a little bit more floral, but it has a musk to it that I think makes it warm and spicy. Okay, so I moved more fragrances to the front so that you don't have to see me short struggle. These two are the latest of the Ariana Grande fragrance launches, the Mod Vanilla and the Mod Blush that came out inspired by Positions. Honestly, I hate the packaging of both of these, not even because of the look, but because I feel like this one in particular is so hard for me to open sometimes. But the Mod Vanilla is like a gourmand musky scent, so I actually really am obsessed with this fragrance because it gives everything that I like. And then of course vanilla. So I really, really like this. I would categorize this as like a winter fragrance and put this kind of in my shabby chic tea time ready category. And then the Mod Blush is more of a woodsy fragrance, but it still has that floral. It has bergamot in it, which I really like, but then it also has the raspberry and pink pepper like the earlier fragrances. So this is giving more spring shabby chic and this is more winter. Sister to the Ari fragrance is Moonlight. I love this package so much. And this is also like a gourmandy scent, but this has more floral notes in it too. This I would categorize as a winter, girl boss, heavier, I'm in the room type of fragrance, but still not too heavy, not overwhelming. Okay, now we have to talk about this fragrance. This is Pink Sugar. This used to sell like hotcakes when I worked at Sephora, and I think you can only really find it in like back end retailers now as opposed to getting it from Sephora. But this smells like an absolute dream. I had to look up the scents because I couldn't remember. I didn't really know what ingredients are in here, but it says it has things like licorice, which makes sense but also citrus. This has the most perfect sweet scent. It's like cotton candy without being too much. I typically like sweeter scents that have musk to them, so there's a balance and it's not like you smell like candy. This smells absolutely fantastic. Um, I love wearing this in the fall time because I feel like it's super sassy for my favorite season. And this I am definitely throwing in the ultimate princess fragrance category. You have to get your hands on this. You will love this if you love anything girly aesthetic. Next we have Alien. This is totally not my aesthetic type of packaging, but it's such a great scent. I am actually really surprised how much I liked this. So this is described on their website as a floral ambery woody scent. I would agree with that, and I think this would be perfect for the summertime. I would categorize this as a girl boss out 
type of scent as well. And then we get into these. Um, this is Chanel Champ. I wanted this fragrance for literally like at least a decade. I used to read Teen Vogue and like always save the pages that had this. Chanel does have different versions of Chance. So this is the Eau Tendre or however you want to pronounce it. This is in the Fresh Fragrance family and it's probably one of the few fresh fragrances I personally like on myself. So it has floral scents, citron, jasmine, teak wood. I feel like I would give this a spring summer approval. Yeah, definitely spring summer and this is giving ultimate princess review as well. I promise I won't choose all of them for that category but I really love some of these fragrances. The next we have Capri by Vince Camuto. This is a floral slash kind of fresh fragrance, kind of fruity. Absolutely love this for the summertime. I think this is really great also for a girl boss day out. Now it's time to pull more fragrances from the back. This is my next row of contenders. I'm not even going to talk about this because this is a Stella McCartney perfume that I looked up. It's no longer available and the one person selling it on eBay is overpricing it so we're just gonna mix that. So let's talk about Juicy Couture. This is the Viva La Juicy scent. I actually used to really love Juicy Couture fragrances and getting like the small bottles as gifts. This is described as having wild berries and mandarin, but it is also still a sweet scent. Juicy Couture makes really sweet fragrances. This is perfect, I think, for a summer. It's not shabby, chic, and soft, but it is tea time ready. So I'm gonna put it in that category because I think this would be perfect for going out for tea or something super girly, antique shopping. This is actually the fragrance I made in Paris, so there's no way for you to purchase this, but it has the same scents I love, a little bit of bergamot, some lavender, vanilla. I actually haven't smelled this since January though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, wait, hold on. You know what this smells like? <gasps> I now have proof that I am literally the ultimate Parisian chic girly. So like I mentioned, this is a fragrance I made at a fragrance class in Paris, um, but it smells exactly, almost a little bit better. A better version of this fragrance, which I just ordered from Amazon. This is technically like a little body oil. I loved how this smelled and I bought this because online everyone was saying this is like the ultimate Paris girl fragrance. Who would have thought that I made the same scent? And I just smelled it and was like, oh my gosh, I've had this sitting. So definitely gonna use this. So if you want my fragrance, you can literally buy this. Honestly, mine is a little better and stronger, but this would give like classic, you can wear this any season, ultimate princess fragrance. So I'm actually really proud of myself right now. Next we have a YSL fragrance. Love this fragrance, although it is more on the fruity floral side, which isn't my go-to. So I would categorize this definitely for the spring time. And I'm gonna put this in the shabby chic category because I think it would be perfect for that. And we have to talk about this freaking shoe. This is the Good Girl Carolina Herrera fragrance. I was obsessed with this when I worked at Sephora. This is giving everything fall, okay? This is definitely a girl boss fragrance. You spray it out through the back of the stiletto. This smells so good, y'all. So next back here, we have Valentino. I actually have another one. These came together, gifted by Valentino. This is the Intense Perfume, and then this I think is called Born in Roma. This one is definitely more of a heavier, musky scent, whereas this one's a little bit lighter, a little bit more floral, but both are based in vanilla. This I definitely, hands down, fall fragrance night owl. Everybody gonna smell this. I don't know if this is intended to be unisex, but it is very masculine. And then this is more on the lighter side. I actually really love this and it's super yummy. So I would also put this in fall and winter, but I think I'm gonna put this in my ultimate girly category as well. Okay, for the sake of not making this video super long, I'm gonna try and go a little bit faster. So next we have our Too Faced Better Than Sex fragrance. Packaging alone on this is everything. It is so gorgeous. This is a rich fragrance. It has amber, patchouli, vanilla and it has a little hint of fruit in there as well so I would categorize this as a really glam girls night out girls day out type of summer fragrance this is another one that I think is harder to get your hands on because it's not new but if you can get Burberry Brit Sheer this is my go-to girl boss fragrance because I wore this every day I went to work at Sephora. I like to wear this on days where I want to focus, which I think is cool that I have a fragrance like that. This I would definitely categorize as a normal spring, summer, shabby chic, lighter fragrance. Next we have Miss Dior Rose and 
roses, which I just smelled. This is definitely spring. It's definitely shabby chic. And we have Flower Bomb, one of my favorite fragrances. I love the package on this as well. This is giving everything must. Honestly, this is any season, but I would love wearing this in the winter, I think, as like my girl boss day out type of fragrance. One of my favorite fragrances of all time is the Victoria's Secret Tease perfume. This is one of my signature scents. Once again, I think a lot of my fragrances are very much fall because I love that time of year. But this is something universal. It smells so delicious. This is definitely going in the ultimate princess. You need to have this fragrance category. Then we have this, another ultimate princess fragrance. This has a sentimental value. This is actually my second bottle. This I wore my senior year of high school. And the cute thing is that you can, if you want to, wear the top as like a little ring which is so cute. But this is the Vera Wang Princess Perfume, so it's fitting that it goes into that category. I definitely think it is a really nice blend of sweet and floral without being too much of either. And I would categorize this as something that's great to wear during transitional seasons, um, like the fall or the spring. Next we have Replica Beach Walk. No surprise that this is definitely a summertime fragrance. Summertime Girl Boss Day Out Replica Perfume smells so good. Then we also have C, which there are different um, Armani Cs, but this red one I have had since Sephora. Um, this is definitely a summertime fragrance for me. I actually really like this. It's giving sweet and we love her. Um, this is going to fall in my shabby chic category. It's not super light, but it's light enough and I love it. Then we have Black Opium and Prada. These two I've been really obsessed with this past year. Black Opium um, sorry, I literally have to smell all of these to try make sure I'm categorizing them correctly. I love the package and how slim this is because it's easy for travel. Black Opium is like super sweet and vanilla based, but it still has a nice little musk to it. This I'm going to give a winter ultimate girly fragrance, ultimate princess. And then Prada is definitely more spring and she's giving us a nice light floral scent. Although it's funny because I smell it and I think of my last fall season because I wore this to a lot of my little fall adventures with Sam. Um, so you can wear all of these fragrances honestly year round, but if I were to categorize this appropriately, I think I would do more of like spring, maybe fall with this, maybe transitions again. Um, and this is gonna go in my shabby chic category. So these are my main perfumes. I do have the Ariana Grande God is a Woman, definitely hands down a spring shabby chic scent. It's very light. And the only other fragrance I have that's not over there is right over here. This is my philosophy Amazing Grace and I feel like she deserved her own little corner. It is such a grandma scent. This is literally the ultimate grandma scent. Like she deserves her own category. If you like antiquing, if you like staying in, if you like quiet places, you'll like Amazing Grace. Literally when I worked at Sephora, the only woman who came in to buy this fragrance were women who were like 50 years older than me. And then there was me wearing it, so love it. All right, y'all. That completes my fragrance collection video. I hope you found this useful. And also, I hope that you found your next signature fragrance and that today you treat yourself to one of them. Let me know if you want to see more collection or tour videos. And with all that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye, loves.